I'm Amanda Leatherman here with David Singer at the Foxwoods Poker Open. David, this seems kind of familiar. You were my first interview ever, and now we're back here in Foxwoods. How's right. your first two levels been going, though? My first two levels haven't gone that well. I uh, started out poorly, and then I got a little bit over 20,000, and then uh, I tried to bluff what I thought was a really good bluff on a guy who just can't be bluffed, I guess, I found out. And so now I only have 12,000, but it's early, and uh, I'm still feeling good about the tournament. But I feel like, I feel like uh, we did, I did your first interview with you, and I think I tried to calm you down and give you some advice on giving interviews. Not that I'm so good on camera, but I feel like Amanda's done a great job on camera, and in some small part, maybe uh, I'd like to think I had something to do with that. You did have something to do with that. You made me super comfortable. You, you were my first two interviews, actually. You know that, right? That's true. We did one out there and one... Uh, I think we did some with them, some birds and some trees somewhere. I don't know. I don't remember the trees, but we, we were somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is there to do in Foxwoods, by the way? Since you are from the East Coast, do you know anything here to do? There's a lot to do in Foxwoods, actually. There's, it's a really beautiful area. There's like, if you like to do a uh, hike or um, do things away from the casino, there's lots of uh, places to go. I like to go bird watching. There are beaches not far away, believe it or not, in Rhode Island and Connecticut. There are a lot of places to go. Actually, I remember last time you asked me what I was going to do on my day off, and I think I'm doing the same thing. I didn't do it last time. Tomorrow, I swear, I'm going to the submarine museum in Groton. <laughs> Groton has uh, one of the two bigger uh, submarine bases in all of uh, the country, and it's got the first nuclear-powered submarine in a museum there, and I'm, I'm really into submarines, so I want to go see it. You know, it would be super awesome if we could go and film it. That would be fun. I would love that, yeah. yeah. Maybe we can do it. I have another question for you. What about East Coast players? People say sometimes the East Coast players aren't, they don't play as well. What do you think about that? Well, in general, they're not as good at No Limit. I think it's because they, in general, No Limit became popular later on in, on the East Coast. Of course, now there's so many internet players, but I, I, I myself try and go back, come back here and play more No Limit tournaments because I do think of the fields in general as being weaker. Yeah, but you're not in that category. You're not in the East Coast players category. Of course not. I'm way above the average East Coast player. We know that. Come on. <laughs> All right, Dave. Well, good luck the rest of the tournament. Okay, Amanda. you have anything to say to me at the end? Dave, come in for the real thing. <laughs> I'm Amanda Leatherman with PokerWire.com.